OncologyTube.com, exclusive video. ADCs have transformed oncology over 40 years. ADCs fuse antibodies, linkers, cytotoxic payloads. By 2024, 11 ADCs approved, 210 in trials globally. The 1980s marked ADCs' first steps in oncology. In 1983, murine antibodies targeted leukemia antigens. Unstable linkers caused toxicity, limited responses. The 1990s focused on humanizing antibodies. Humanized antibodies reduced immunogenicity risks. BR96 doxorubicin showed 20% response but high off-target effects. The 2000s brought the first ADC approval. Mylotarg, approved in 2000, targeted CD33 in AML. It achieved 30% complete remission but faced toxicity. Mylotarg was withdrawn in 2010 due to safety concerns. The 2010s saw ADC designs mature significantly. AIDS Citrus, 2011, and Kedsila 2013 targeted CD30, HER2. Kedsila showed 43% response in HER2 plus breast cancer. Cleavable linkers improved payload release precision. The 2020s expanded ADCs across cancer types, Trotal-V, Patsev target HER2, TROP2, Nectin-4. And HER2 yields 61% response, 22-month PFS in breast cancer. Breast and lung cancer trials dominate at 60%. Neutropenia, 30 ILD, 15% remain key toxicities. EGFR HER2 biomarkers predict response in 70% of cases. ADCs with PD-1 inhibitors boost response rates by 25%. 15 novel payloads like MMAF in trials by 2024. ADCs offer oncologists precision, better survival. For researchers, ADCs redefine cancer therapy. Subscribe here and go to oncologytube.com for an article on this and many other cancer topics.